right, welcome back. Cassius, there's something I remembered that you need to do. Give me a fort save. Ooh. Uh, time to start bleeding. It's cool, I'm just gonna start coughing up blood. Yep. Maybe it's all the, like, punctures in your stomach, but something just has blood dripping down your lips. All right. Uh, Mal, Zeke is, like, hung up by the webs in front of you. Just like this. Dismiss this! The deed is done. Um, can I assess if he's being mind controlled by this guy? Uh, you have already tried it and you can't tell. Zeke did, I thought. Uh, no, I had Aravos earlier make a sense motive check. Sorry, I, I didn't know. So yeah, I will not dismiss it until I can tell like it's safe. Like everyone's in their own faculties of mind. If I can't tell that, then I will not dismiss it. Okay. Logically, though, you would think that after I'd stabbed the dude to death, though, he wouldn't be able to control him anymore, right? I mean, unless well, there's... Well, I never saw him cast a spell, so I don't know if I know how it works. Yeah, nobody but... knows how the spell works. Um, I do want a sense motive, just because I feel like I've never seen Mal be this hardcore about not killing something. Okay. Uh, no, you get the impression that Mal's probably not under any sort of mind control. It's just, right. I'll uh, I'll relay that that I don't think he's being mind controlled. He's in my protection from evil, so theoretically, like I, I think he should be fine. Boom! I'm just gonna do that periodically while you guys are all standing here. So every every roughly twelve seconds, I'm gonna make a giant blam noise. Oh, are we not still in uh? We're not still in combat rounds. Uh, I also okay. need you to make another fort save. Yeah, so... Was when it... I say blam, you take you make a fort save. So this time it wasn't like after he attacked me or anything, right? No. This time you're just keeping him down like you should have in the first place. Okay. Uh, you uh, are not bleeding. I don't know what's happening, but uh, I'm going to try to... Can I move? Yeah. Cool. I, I think... Make a fort save. Okay. Okay, you take no damage. But you feel more claws on your face. Uh, Ra, I also need you to make a fort save now. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Uh... Those are fun because I slightly modified them. You feel like a set of claws trying to claw at your face. I'm backing up back to here because I didn't feel it until I got over there. I'm like, wait, what? Uh, uh, I'm scared. Okay. Anyway, keep going. What happens is she keeps moving by me with this circle of evil, so I just keep getting pushed. It just away, keeps me. No, it keeps making you feel uncomfortable. Oh. Um. As she said that, and the protection of evil stuff, I'll dismiss the web. Okay. The web. Um, I'm gonna convey that as soon as I tried to walk out of the glass, like felt like something was clawing at my face, like something's fucking. Me. Me. Yeah. <laughs> like this. All right, you're fine. Nice. What the fuck? I mean, do I have any? If I don't see any of this going on with you, Cassius, this is on you. I I'm screaming seen at the top of my lungs because I keep taking, I'm bleeding from the face. I just got stabbed in the stomach. I just keep screaming and everybody's just in there doing whatever they're doing. I tried to come help you, bro, but I can't take bleed damage. I'm like, well, I guess I can try to heal myself at this point. I have a f- little bit of spell points left. Um. <sighs> so minus. Where are you casting that? I'm all back here. Oh, okay. You're casting on yourself. Yeah, I'm casting yeah. on myself because I'm like at 16 HP and. Okay. I'm uncomfortable. What else is happening wanna... here? I need to get an idea of what's going on. Ah. I'm laying there unconscious. Right. That's good. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna can I see alert that, down. Tom? <laughs> I, I, w- I would lay down Zeke and. Um, oh, no, he fell uh, down. That... Yeah, yeah. The web dismisses um, and plop. Yep. 
Um, yeah, I've seen the force the Zeke kids with at this point. I'm just assuming that that if that cleaved into the man, that the man is very dead. Um, so I just ask a damage report on anybody else. I kind of was rushing him. And I need wasn't an attack really roll from you, Cassius, because now you've moved out of range. That's fair. Uh, and then I need a fort save. God damn it. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you shoot down. There's another blam. You shoot down the uh, the rhino as it starts to get up. And fort save. Oh, yeah. Um, go ahead and uh, do that. Well, there's a lot of free movement going on there. So is Mal going to say anything about Aravos's movement? I'm invisible. Oh, yeah. You have a extra D4 there. So on the, on the fort save. Oh. Uh, it's not going to matter, unfortunately. Um, take five more points of bleed. Oh, and that, that's not what I was going to do also. I was going to move, because I don't know if it's where I'm standing or what's happening, but... Yep. I just Make a fort save. God damn it. Well, like, can someone just find out why Cassius is shooting still? It's because the rhino is keeps <laughs> reviving, because it... And now we don't know how to stop it, because this man is dead. We had ideas. I, I, I basically am searching this man's corpse to try and find something that. Well, we're, you weren't would... stopping Aravos from coming around and searching as well, right? I, oh no, I, you can't, I can't see Aravos. See so, uh, Aravos, but what he, have you? Aravos could not have moved through until he dismissed the web. So I technically have initiative on this corpse. Um, I'm going to give you initiative. I'm going to let you both roll and make an initiative roll here, because if Aravos dismisses the web as part of his action, you are both at roughly the same, like the same timing. So I want to see who would be able to take their action first. And then I want you to each whisper me what item you're going to look at first, or what you're going to do first. Because if you both reach for something different, like if Aravos reaches for the staff or the amulet or something else that's on him, and you reach for something different, then you both have something different. Or you might both lock onto the same thing. Um, um, if I see invisible hands, going through this, I'm literally screaming to stay away from well, shit. Well, let's, let's see your initiative roll here. And then I want whispers to what is happening. Or you can just say it out loud. You don't have to whisper it. I mean, okay. Okay. So I didn't know about all this stuff, what you said before, but I don't want to retcon what I wanted to do. So as I was walking by Mal, I wanted to whisp, like say, um, you're, you're needed out there. Like Cassius is fighting a rhino. I was hoping he would have le left at that point, but if he doesn't, then I'm not going to search the corpse if he's like, re like aggressively looking at it or whatever. I was hoping saying that would lead him to leave the room. But I, I want to see how he reacts when I say that, okay. is what I'm saying. No, um... I, I'm like, this man's extremely dangerous. I didn't want to kill him, but we I'm also 100% not leaving his corpse unintended. This man probably has potentially very dangerous artifacts on him. I'm still not fully certain what these things are. I have um, no spells to help the man outside. You need to help him. I will cast his the ah, Go! Go do what? <laughs> Find out what Cassius is dealing with. Uh, Ra, give me a fort save. Actually, give me There's two a... of them where you're standing. There's a wall of glass, Mal. Just take a look. Uh, you're going to take one point of bleed damage. And Cassius, I need a fort save from you. I wanted to know if there's anything spellcraft or any check I could make. Give me a out. perception there. Okay. Yeah, I'm likewise trying to figure out what this is. One point to you as well. Um, that was for okay. me, right? So, yeah, Ra, you can notice, uh, like, you, you kick aside some of the bones as you, like, stab down into the rhino, and you mm -hmm. notice there are these little these little symbols that are painted into the floor. Maybe they're okay. kind of more, like, etched into the floor, and then they're, like, sealed off in, like, uh, some kind of uh, metal, and there's, like, a thin layer of blood with, with, like, a glass over top of it. 
Uh, what would it be to try to figure out what is happening with this and how to stop uh, it? This is a um, spellcraft. This is a spellcraft check. Or knowledge or comment. I'm sorry, knowledge or comment. Okay. I'm assuming yeah. since I haven't been infected by this, I can't no. see yeah. the effect. No, you're you're not. You haven't been interacting with it. Um. If I can't figure it out, I'm just gonna sort of, like, yell for Aravos, like, hey, I need you to come take a look at something for me. Good. Okay. Um, Aravos, then what are you gonna do when that happens? Uh, Mal, I'm gonna get to you. Just, you're going through stuff right now. You're looking through the items. You're fine. Everything is magical. Everything is very, very magical. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to go look at what she wants me to look at. If okay. I cannot, if I don't have an opportunity to freely look through the corpse. Right, you stop there and give me a fort save. What travesty have you made me look at? Take six points oh. of bleed damage. I'll say this is what I think is causing us to bleed. Can you help figure out how to stop it so we stop bleeding? All right, take, give me another fort save, brah. Another pair is of this... fort saves. And Cassius, you give me another fort. Oh, oh no, Cassius moved. Is this internal bleeding? Take another two points of damage. It's internally, externally bleeding. So, like, it's like for the invisible guy. The blood guy. is flowing up out of your insides. So for the invisible guy. Yes. Is, is there just an there, invisible, there's invisible flowing blood this crimson mask? Here. So yeah, I guess you can't That's see it. That's horrifying. But like drops of blood are falling on the on the empty floor. Is actually what this looks like. Since I've been impacted by it, can I identify what's happening yeah, here? Yeah, give me or? a knowledge arcana. Okay. This is a modified version of symbol of exsanguination. Um, it will gr- la- it will gradually bleed away at you. There look to be at least two of them on the floor here in front of you, and they multilaterally can affect a person. Um, this is actually going to bleed as long as you're within five feet of them, and if you stopped within five feet of them. Uh, I will relay that and move outside of its range. Sure. I'll ask. Yeah, I'm, gonna move, that. I'm gonna move the two that you've seen into view. Hold on. Okay. Right. Oh, that is interesting. The rhino hasn't gotten up yet, has it? Uh, she's been stabbing it periodically. Okay. So, you, so he said within five feet of it. Yes. Mommy? Stay within okay. five feet of those there. So I'll move over here. Okay. And you'll keep stabbing the rhino. Yes. All right. So Mal. Let's talk about all this shit that he has. Uh, first um, of all, he does not seem to have a spell book. Second of all, he yeah. has a headband, two rings, uh, is wearing a, uh, like, what looks like a purple robe, um, but, like, as he's lost consciousness, you notice it looks more black now. Um, an amulet of natural arm, or I'm sorry, whoops, just an amulet. You don't know what the amulet is. Uh, some bracers. Uh, some boots, and he has his staff. Uh, the uh, robe is the most powerful item, I believe. Let me double check. Um, yeah, I, I'm scanning with the tech magic for something that would be like an aura of conjuration or anything that could be summoning this rhino. There is no conjuration aura. Uh, all of the auras are either necromancy or enchantment or abjuration. So the necromancy one, would that necromancy would also... That is the staff. The staff is necromancy. Uh, Okay. uh, No, I'm sorry. The staff is not necromancy. I take that back. Uh, The staff is also very powerful, but it is... um, Technically, it's enchantment. Um, And I'm sorry, enchantment... There is necromancy, and I thought I was right. Uh, Enchantment, necromancy, and transmutation on the staff. Okay. That's the one I'd be scanning. I'm trying to find if any of these items is resurrecting this rhino continuously. Uh, give me a knowledge oh. arcana. Sure. Uh, sh- uh, no, you have no reason to believe any of these things are resurrecting the rhino. But maybe, <sighs> I mean, 19, yeah. not really enough to know. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, if I can't find... Um, if there doesn't seem to be any explanation there, then I'm just going to uh, tell Sphinx that Zeke can wake back up. Um, 
um, and I'm gonna try and start looking for a way out of here. Okay. Um. Uh, the, give me a perception he, then, as you're looking. Because presumably, he, extra dimensional stuff doesn't really work in here, so he had to have some sort of backup plan. I would imagine. I don't, because he tried to teleport somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Yep. So you go ahead and give me a perception. You're you're making you're making good moves. Um, while this is happening, does anyone else who's invisible want to do something to the body now? Yeah, I was going to ask, is he left the items he's, alone? He has to he... walk away to look for the door. Then that is where Arvos is headed, back to the, uh, the courts. Okay. The, you see the items that I just said. A headband, a, two rings, uh, his robe, an amulet, some bracers, some boots, and the staff. You said my bag does <laughs> not work in It here, does right? not work in here. I also take inventory of everything on the corpse. Yep. Um. Step, step, step. Um, while you are doing that, uh, Mal, as you get to right about, whoops, wrong thing. As you get to right about here, you will notice that there is a panel in the wall that doesn't seem to be the same as the rest of the wall. Like, there is a part of the wall that seems out of place. Uh, okay. Can I do some sort of engineering check here? Absolutely. Uh, so you are looking at this. This looks like a button. Ah, a button. That's long lost secret. Uh, I push it. You push it, and the wall beside you starts to make a loud grinding noise, and it opens into a small room. Uh, well, more like a moderate-sized room. Uh, there is, like, a desk with a bunch of papers and a book in it. Uh, there's a large bed, um, as well as another door um, on the opposite wall. Um, there is... A as you, uh, 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 let me not jump ahead. There is a large bookshelf as well, um, and a chest at the foot of the bed. I'll start uh, looking around at the stuff. You're shooting um, at the door, Cassius. I'm just no. I'm, I'm like banging on okay. it, like because I'm assuming it like magically shut, right? Yeah. I'm just trying to get the attention of some guards. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll start looking through stuff. Okay. So you're going to go into the room. Um, yep. I am going to need you to give me a will save. This is where I actually get taken over. Okay. Uh, you move in just fine. Um, you are looking about... You felt for a moment like this feeling of dread start to try to sink over you. Um, mm -hmm. But you're like, everything's gone. Nothing's here that's a problem. I'm just going to make my way in here. Fuck this fucking necromancy bullshit. Um, yep. And inside, the bookshelf has a, has a large variety of volumes. Um, some of them are unlabeled. Many of them have labels on them. Uh, various books about spells and about necromancy and about divination and about law magic. Um, not law is in lawful magic. Law is in, like, legality magic. Mm -hmm. Um... The chest is locked, um, is, and the book that is open appears to be at a distance. A It has a lot of writing in it. Are you going to check? take a look at the book? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd try and um, read it uh, without touching it first. One sec. Take 18 yeah, points of force damage as the book kind of like explodes into your face. Um, uh, and give me a right. knowledge arcana. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> oh god, you have no idea why this book just blew up in your face. <laughs> is it still blowing up in my face? It is not still blowing up in your face. <laughs> okay. Mike, 
is this like can i <laughs> push through <laughs> well, jesus christ it's an indestructible book and it just has arc- arcanic runes uh runes where's the fuck's the damn rogue when you need one um i'm I'm going to cast Detect Magic before I walk around any further in here. Okay. Just to make sure there's not uh, anything The, the book is magical. All of the top row of books without labels on them are magical. Uh, the bed is magical. Uh, the um, the chest is magic, has magic on it. And the carpet has some form of magic. Or the flooring has some kind of magic in it. Ooh, Jesus. Uh, the flooring um. is some sort of abjuration magic. Um, the bed has some level of enchantment magic on it. Uh, Don't the worry, chest, got that bed from. The chest has abjuration magic. <laughs> um, the books all have abjuration magic on them as well. Except the one that you just read. Which has a lingering look, uh, a lingering, like, view of abjuration on it. Cool. Um... If it doesn't seem like there's any other fucking traps in this room, I'm going to continue trying to read the book. Okay. Uh, it is a spell book, uh, so it is a bit hard to decipher what is going on here. Uh, but it's it's very clearly, uh, like, looks like my spell book kind yes. of thing. Like, Yeah, it's, it's got, like, little scribblings and, like, specific words that you can pick out that make sense and, like, motions and a, a number of other, like, very clear spell booky kind of things. Um... All right, I, I I would basically tell Sphinx to wake up uh, Zeke, and um, we need to take inventory of the, everything that this man had. Okay, while this is happening, Aravos, what in particular are you doing with the stuff on uh, the dead man? So, I don't know if this helps at all, but I wanted to use Detect Magic to try to piece together how my extra-dimensional space is not functioning in here, if I can... Dispel it temporarily somehow. Um, dispel magic. No, you would. So, give me a knowledge arcana. Your detect magic. It's hard to tell because there is a lot of like abjurative and other magical like effects going on throughout the walls and the ceiling. Um, but with your knowledge arcana, you would know of. I actually always forget what the spell is called, so I cannot give you the spell per se. Um, but it hampers extra dimensional space movement, movement of objects in and out of extra dimensional space and movement of objects uh, in and out of the, the barriered area. Um, so basically, like, you could teleport to anywhere that's within the barriered area, but you can't teleport out of that area. So do, do, with my detect magic, do I see this bar- supposed of barriers? The walls are covered in this, in this barrier. Okay. So there is but one wall that doesn't have it, but you, now that you've turned on the detect magic, you would have noticed. Actually, that's also, Mal, how you probably would have discovered the room. Because that specific wall does not have, like, the same abjurate of magic on it if you stare at it for a while. So you'll kind mm-hmm. of notice that as well. Like, there's a chunk of wall that's moved where that door was. And that has a different sort of abjurate of magic on it. Something about that is different than all of the rest of the, the magic on the walls around the room. Um, and with my detect magic, the items he's holding, uh, does anything specific r- ring the, out to me? Like... The robe and the staff have very, very powerful magic on them. Uh, the headband has the moderate schools, power or... magical. Uh, yeah. The robe has, um, hold on. Uh, the robe is... A large number of things, but I think largely it has. Oh no, ab. Sorry, there is actually no. It's it's abjuration. It's abjuration and abjuration. Um, the staff has necromancy, divination, and enchantment. Um, the boots. God, making me go through all this shit. Um. I really wish this would have helped. The boots have divination. Uh, the ring has abjuration. One of the rings has abjuration. The other ring has. Uh, there was actually a ring with conjuration. I did not notice that, but. Um... 
it's it would not have been relevant to anything when that was asked. Uh, then enchantment and uh, abjuration. Enchantment on the headband and abjuration on the... Or transmutation on the headband, abjuration on the amulet. Hmm. Um, memories of the time where I tried to steal money and Mal meticulously had accounting records of the money and called me out on it deters Arvos from procuring any of these items. Okay. Um, but I do notice that side wall that is not is yes. now opened by Mal, right? Yep. And I supposedly heard an explosion or a force you blast heard or something? would an explosion, yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess... Um, so the, the, Mal, Mal looked on him and he didn't take... I didn't see any papers fly off him. He doesn't have any notes on him or anything like that or nope. anything of non-magical note. Nope. All right, I guess I'm going to go over here and look in the room and see if there's anything I can see that sticks out to a wizard. Uh, me... Books, what appear to be ma- like big books, books of magic, unlabeled books. Uh, you see the books on the on the bookshelf have abjuration. There's a lingering presence of abjuration on the uh, book in front of Mal. Uh, there is a chest that is covered in abjurative magic and a bed that has enchantment magic. I'm specifically looking anything here uh, regard because he did say that my memory would be wiped if I walked out this room. I want to see if there's any anything in here that indicates how that works or if there's a, any notes here of how he's able to pass through this room or how it works. Uh, yeah. That. Are you just going to grab random books or what are you going to grab to try to figure this out? Um, if there's any spines of books with labels on them, like divinate, like sort of schools of magic related sure. to that, so you're, you're, anything like that. Okay, so you're picking up uh, some of the books and you're going to start reading through them. Um, give me a knowledge arcana. Sure. I'm assuming that I can hear the loud explosion. Yes, everyone case. would be able to hear the loud explosion. Uh, yeah, you me. don't find any information in these books doing a doing a rough skim through. Okay. I'm going to try to move into here. I don't know if uh, these were actually marked. No. Uh, it's only if you stop adjacent to them. Yeah, I don't know if they were actually marked or not, or if they were just mentioned where they were at. No, they were marked. You, okay, can, you can now see them because the bones have been kind of pushed out of the way of them. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, because they were under the glass, right? Right. Okay. Or no, they were they were under the bones, and then moving the bones, like, reveals them. Do those um, things count as spells? They are not spells. They are like the lingering effect of spells. Okay. Uh, so, um, the what? Uh, so, Aravos, you can't find the information right now. There's not a lot of time for you to read through these books. Um, Mal, what are you doing? What is the rest of the group doing as well? There is another door on the other side of this room. Oh, there is. Yes. Um, there is a small, what looks like a sort of normal style door there. Um. Actually, I'm going to try to figure out if uh, that, like, I'm going to try to send some motive on them and see if they look like they've, or I don't know. I guess send some motive, see if I can figure out whether or not they're, um, have lost their memory of being in here. I guess I wouldn't really be able to tell. Nope. Nobody. But, no, no one has though. With the 19 cents motive, you're not really sure, but. Because I don't want to, like, I don't know if this room qualifies as part of this area. No, so when you just... leave out that specific door. So he was he was specific about the door. Okay. Well, then I'll go in there and start searching for something to write with. Okay. You'll something find a, a pen and a uh, and ink. Cool. I'm going to... It is very I'm classical put... style. He doesn't have, like, a ballpoint pen. He actually has, like, you know, the, the quill and ink set. Okay, cool. And also, I, I mean, you know Zeke's been writing this whole time, too. You've seen it. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I want to be able to like keep notes for myself, so that if we leave here. Oh no, I meant I, that you could have just taken that shit off sneak. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, He's um, laying but there unconscious. I'll, I'll take them with me back into the other room to kind of keep, be able to keep an eye on Zeke's body and I... and start writing. I'll put them in my note section. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, I, I would also be trying to skim the books, trying to find anything, and if Erebos fails, I'm probably not going to be any better at it, but um, 
Did you say there were a few that sort of talked about like necromancy books? Yeah, there's some um, necromancy, there some divination, and some and uh, books on like knowledge or on uh, law arcana. How many uh, for the necromancy books are there? Uh, there's about fifteen, fifteen, and uh, I'm sorry, yeah, fifteen, fifteen, and fifteen. So forty-five books total. Okay, that's I have exactly fifteen spell points left. I'm going to mages perusal all the necromancy books and see if I can find one that might have the secrets to uh, what's summoning this rhino. Uh, nothing in here has anything about what this rhino is. Okay. Um, what feels, do I get any interesting feels at all about the books? Is it uh, you find book? out, you now know that he was using magic jar to control the, the players. Um, okay. And um, anything else that stands out from the books? No, I mean, there's a lot of information to peruse here. So you've you've done a like heavy read through, but you've not really made any time to process process the information. Right, like, right. So you have this well, information I... in your head, but. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah. Then I I guess I would uh follow Erebos through the door. Or I don't know if Erebos is going the door, but. Um, yeah, I don't know either. I would, I'd open the door. Um, I would, uh, I'd point it to the spell book. I, I know that he seems to have, uh, um, like spells more than I do. I know he's very scholarly, so I would say be careful with it. It's, it's trapped, but when you I open no... the door, when you open the door, there is a swirling purple mass on the opposite side of it, just like ebbing and flowing in the wall or in the, in like the open area. Wait. Or like, a, uh, like layer, like the like portal esque. We'll say I can't. I was. Okay. I realize I'm being too vague about it. Um. Perhaps this is the way out. That's uh, this might be how he gets in and out. Uh, um. you uh, you both have your detect magic. I'm sure still open. Um. Last for well, my only last for seven minutes. I don't know if that's passed by now. Uh, probably not. Well, no, you did go through. You went through the books. Mal went through a bunch of the books about. Yeah, there's probably still time. Um, Let's see how long this made is. Time. That's not the one. Give me, both of you can give me a knowledge arcana either way. And actually, Spinks probably can too. I'm assuming at some point Spinks will come up by the rest of the party as well. Yeah, I, I more or less. Knowledge arcana, I guess, since you're all kind of huddling in this room at this point. So, so does, does Sphinx heal me when she's passing by, or? Uh, no? does she? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll go over there. Okay. Uh, yeah. None of you are quite sure. What's uh the lawyer doing? The lawyer is. is he with us? The lawyer is still like in the corner, like cowering because he's terrified of the rhino getting back up. We should we should bring him over north near us where it's safer. Okay. So you you go get the lawyer and you can bring him over. Yeah. Um and he'll like make the widest like girth of uh, or birth of walking around the rhino. It's rhi fine, bro. I'll, I'll, I got I'll, this. Yeah, I'll, I'll stab the rhino a few times as I walk Like, by I'm literally okay. standing right here stabbing this rhino non-stop for, like, probably the last 20 fucking minutes. Just like, stab, stab. Doesn't make stab, him stab. any less afraid of it. He doesn't understand uh, this shit. Yeah, we had a shift change. That's why she had to start doing it. Um, Alright, so you bring the lawyer over there as well. Um... But yeah, none of you are quite sure what this is and how this works. Oh, it yep. You want to use tireless logic to re-roll once per day? Um, let's just grab the rhino corpse and toss it through and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> yes. How are we going to monitor it's what happens when it goes through? <laughs> I don't well, know, but it, it sounds more fun than the rhino won't it. fit. The rhino is huge. We oh yeah, the rhino, the rhino oh. doesn't even fit through the spot we opened in the Correct. glass, right? Yep. So, do you want to mm -hmm. use the tireless logic? You didn't answer that question. Um, 
Sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Reroll it. We accidentally throw nope. it to like an orphanage. Not much better. Take it all again. Um, the fact that he said like when you go through that door, does Arvos think he can, with time and trial, dispel the magic on the door to allow us out of here? Oh, well, also, since I'm over Maybe. now, can I roll? Yeah, absolutely. All right, Arvos will nope. say we should not fuck with things we do not understand and try to get this matter resolved legally and head towards the door. Um, that, 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 will, that will be qu- quite easy. Uh, uh, oh, the lawyer's it, here. Unless, yes, you. Unless we do get memory wiped leaving, at which point that might make things more difficult. Um, yes, I'm working on that. How certain are you that you'll be successful? Well, we're about to find out. And I'll start walking towards the door and cast Dispel wait. Magic. Okay. Unless Sphinx says wait as I'm walking out. She then froze. Oh, wait. Oh. All right. What were you saying, Michelle? I was going to. Uh, for, I was going to ask him if he had a see if I could help out because I also have. To... You also have the spell magic. Yeah. Okay. I was going to see if. Go ahead. Maybe doing it at the same time. But... You two can do some maybe. dispelling. Cast me some sure. dispels. All right. Good deal. Um. Oh, mine doesn't have the roll in there. Rob. Yep, give me your cast oval check. Okay. Uh, you eliminate two effects from the door, but the door still glows with abjur- abjurative magic. And some enchantment magic. And some uh, transmutation magic. And some enchantment magic. I think I already said enchantment. Does that assessment mean no matter, do I get the feeling no matter how many times we dispel this, there is going to be some effect on it or it's no, too powerful? No, you, you remove two spells from it. It's just got a lot of different magics on it. Then I'll just keep going until we get rid of yep. them all. Both of you can cast a spells again. That fails. Keep moving your spell points as you go, please. Uh, you should be losing <laughs> five apiece from these. Yep. Uh, there are three effects gone. Oops. Need to hit this. Oh. Uh, that does not remove an effect. That oh my god. That does not Where did I go effect. to school? Alright. I'm fucking done with this. And that does not We're remove dead. an effect. That does not remove an effect. All right, that looks like you guys are out of spell points. How big is this hole? How big is what? The that hole where they were looking at where the shit was being cast, or not the not that was being cast the uh the on the on the other side of the uh his room. The door. No, the uh no the um the hole in his room, the magic swirling vortex. Yeah, that's a door. That's behind. Oh, the sorry. Door. It fills the entirety of the door. Okay. Is there um. Anything that looks unique and big enough to throw through this hole. There are lots of things that are unique and big enough to throw through the hole. There's lots of books. There's the ink quill. There's, I mean, technically you could push the chest through it. All right. Uh, I'm like, did, did they? Did what you about guys the open desk? the chest yet? No. What about the desk? You, you had a desk. The right? desk is too big to go through the door normally. You'd have to like bend it and push it, but maybe you could get it through. Sure. Um, is it? Uh, is there anything in the desk? No. Uh, there's I'm like gonna, papers and stuff, but that's I'm about gonna it. like clear it out, and that's essentially what I'm gonna spend the rest of my time doing. Okay. So you clear off the desk, empty out the desk. Is anybody stopping him? If somebody sees a desk come out of nowhere, I think it'll be pretty easy to like sure. figure out just, where this comes out. I'd rather just. <sighs> Plus, I can't help with the other door, anyways. I, I got us into this mess. I'll, 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 I'll see what it does. It's, it's no point in just throwing yeah. stuff into it and then praying. Well, um, if you die from going through it, I mean, I don't There's know. no other way that we can get out. We're all exhausted. We have no points left. It, it, what it, do you want to do? 
It's a door, so it would make sense that it's meant to be walked through. Yeah, but... I, I can't it's... imagine this man did not have any way to get out of his own trap. Yeah, but it doesn't mean I want to walk through that. it. I don't know what I don't know what he does. Like, this uh, is all high-level shit that I don't know anything about. Oh. I'll go through it. I'm not done taking inventory. Then we can see if that doesn't work. If I die, then we'll, you guys can figure out a better way. What if we take off all the dude's stuff and then throw his body through the door? No. It doesn't really help us figure out where it all comes right. back. So now you're stepping through the door? You want some uh, protection from evil first, just in case? Sure. I'll, I'll take some protection from evil. All right. Um, so, Elso. So, okay. So say he goes through the door and doesn't come back. How long do we wait before we also try and go through the door? Or, <laughs> Who's got what, a rope? or whatever else we're doing. Who's got a rope? Oh, right. I, one person does. Nobody. One person who tried to cast a rope trick. Well, technically, I couldn't have cast it anyway because oh, okay. it was in my bag. Got so it. I forgot about that. So. Well, I didn't know about it when I was casting. Then have given, give me one more dispel magic because that's a level three spell, right? Who me? Yeah. Oh, for the rope. Yeah. Well, I tried to cast a rope trick. Oh, and then I guess I'd look in my bag and see I couldn't pull it out. Right. So you would have oh. had enough points to do one more dispel magic. I clicked it, but I don't even like it. It might be. There you go. Oh. All right, you would have heard the door click. Oh. Well, I guess we figured out it's how to unlock it. Throw on detect magic. Is it still magic on? The enchantment effects are still on the door, but the abjuration effects are no longer on the door, nor are the transmutation effects. Uh. Someone, come! <laughs> I think I've unlocked the door. Don't walk through it, but try and open it. See what happens. It is locked. Break the door down. Someone with a sword or, or a weapon down. of some sort. Oh, All right. I can yeah. burn the, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Burn the so door. Is, is Mal going through the portal? I like... Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do it. You step I'm going to take portal. a protection. You wait, feel a really... wait, before you do that, I'm going to take this bed sheet and wrap it around him okay. and around the uh, desk. And I'm going to try to anchor the desk so that it won't pull through. Okay. Uh, Mal, you step through the portal. You feel like this weird, gooey sensation on your body as you step through, and you're standing on the other side of what looks like a closet. On the on the extra side. dimensional closet. Nope, it's not even extra dimensional. I put my ear and listen. There was no sense of movement. You're you can hear outside of the room. You dead in there? You can hear him say that. Well, I. I, I... I push open the, the closet very slowly. You're inside of the closet, so you just push your hand out. And yeah, your yeah. hand is on the outside of the closet. There's nothing in this closet. It's empty. But was there like a door that I had to like a No, um, you already like opened of... the door and then you oh, okay. put your and then you step through and you were inside of like a small closet. Okay. I, I keep stepping forward further. There's no room to step forward further. You're already through it. You're in the you're in a five by five closet. Oh I see. Um, that has a portal on the front of it. I'm moving when he puts his hand through the door. I don't want to touch it. Okay. I don't... It's a dead end? I, I, I'm, I'm going to look around to see if there's anything in here that might be like a mechanism, like a button again. No, no mechanism. Do I, do I hear him say that? or? Yeah, you can hear everything he's saying. Huh. So you're not dead then. That's good. I'm fine, but it's a dead end. Back? Is it like a cage? You still remember what happened in here? Tell Mal to hurry up and get get out of the closet already. Let's. <laughs> I got this door unlocked. I need someone to. Oh, I'm in the closet. I already said I came He's... over and oh, okay. the door. Oh, oh okay. I'm stabbing a rhino. Yeah. So, uh, so you can, you'll eventually bash it down. You've got the door bashed down, Zeke. Appreciate right. it, Ra. Just want you to know. You can see outside. Guys. You can see the stairs below. Uh, but when you shout guards, you hear no echo in the room on the other side of the door. In uh, fact, so you hear no or... sound on the opposite end of the door. Do I need a check, or can I safely assume this is sound of sil silence? You can assume that. You can safely assume it's silence. You've you've encountered silence before. Arachlis casts it all the time whenever people are bothering him. <laughs> <laughs> 
a silence spell. You actually also cloak. he's you've also seen him though at times cast silence, and then you see him like saying silent words, swearing because he forgets he can't cast spells now while he's stuck in his silent bubble. Even though it stopped all the noise, it's also stopped his noise. Zeke, try throwing something down. The we need someone to get someone's attention. Don't walk through yet, though. We'll lose our memory. I think still. Well, we can send the lawyer through, right? And, and he'll lose his he, memory. Well, to check and see if he. We still might loses his memory, want the lawyer right? to keep his memory to help us out of this shit. Right. I don't know if he'll be a guinea pig either. Just try throwing something first. Do you have anything you can throw down the stairs? Get someone's attention. Chuck a bone. Ah, good idea. I'll go pick up a bone and throw it outside okay. if I can. Throw someone a bone. Yep, it makes no noise, and you can see it fall up. go down the stairs a little bit. But you can't see how far down it went. Aravos, does your knowledge of spells tell you what a memory school, a memory wipe spell might they, be? Uh, it's, it's enchantment. Is the he, only... He's sure he didn't get the, enchant- the enchantment later on. The only spell left on the door is enchantment. and it's mm. They're just throwing shit down my... there? Cool. I mean, you're, I can cast... you're on the other side watching what Mal is doing. Uh, oh yeah. All right. So while that's happening, Mal, what are you doing in the in the in the closet? In the closet. What you doing in the closet? I I walk back out. I guess. All right. You walk back out. You get that gooey Climb feeling over, the all over your body. Because the desk is definitely put in front of the door so that it won't get pulled through. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he can okay. push the desk out of the way. It's that's fun. fine. I'm going to try and take random books with me and go through it. Yeah, there's no problem when you do that either. And it still just takes me to the same sort yep, of still whatever. still in the same closet. What about the... I, I start testing with the items on the mage's body. Yeah, still same thing. Um, I don't know how this device works. <laughs> I have an idea. Cassius, you were writing things, weren't you? Uh, yeah, I took a few notes. Write a Just message for someone to got... come help us immediately. Are you going to try sure. to paper airplane this shit? Yes. <laughs> but with this, haha. Okay. Ah! I'll, I'll grab some a d- different paper and start writing on it. Include on the message that we were attacked by the, or no, to say we need help in the High Inquisitor's room. Okay. So you send it. The note will end up on the bottom half of the stairs as the unseen servant moves out of your range. There's no one in sight around that area? Nope. Oh, good. Bang! I'm going to fire a bullet down the hallway. Okay. It's not a hallway. There's, like, stairs at the end of this area. And you oh, fire okay. the, the bullet at the stairs. It but may it, not hear There is it, no sound. But it might fall down the stairs. It does fall down the stairs. So I got the unseen server like 45 feet away or something like that yep. before it dissipates? Yep. Okay. 20 feet forward, 20 feet down. 25 feet down. So I could see the note still or it's out of sight? No, you still. definitely can't see it because it's downstairs. Okay, so hopefully it's far enough maybe. Hmm. Was there a chair in his room? Ah, uh, the best puzzle I've ever, I've ever put together. Better than the door that opens in the different direction? <laughs> No, that was there's the one that chair, almost defeated our party. There was the there was a chair at his desk, right? Yeah. All right, cool. I'm gonna take it and throw it through the door towards the stairs. Okay. And hope that it breaks and maybe makes some noise on the other side eventually. It doesn't make any noise on the other side, and it will just get caught in the stairwell. It's silent out there. Just stop. No, we need to figure books. out this. Maybe you have they'll any way see to contact the Arachlis? Uh, if, I don't know if I know, like, from the teleportation stuff, like, um, anyways, I would say I, he contacts me, I can't contact him. You're his lackey and you have no way to contact him? Can I try the scroll and see if the scroll works? Yeah. Which scroll? The contact thing. Oh, yeah, that that thing does not work. Does not work, yeah. Nope. I'll, I'll just, uh, go through the, uh, Wait, where are you trying it? Um... I'm still over by this portal trying shit. Okay. Inside or outside? Uh, inside the room. Okay. It does not work then. Um, I'm going to go into the portal, I guess. Okay. And start You're looking around. I'm, I'm going to try to... There's no, no there's buttons or nothing. I can't... Nope. If I step into the closet and then close the doors, does it do anything? Nope. 
Good thought. Can I just build stuck in the closet to go there? There is no oh, handle on the inside of the closet, by the way. Binks, hey. I've seen wait. you talk to your... You have a, a familiar... Oh, wait, I have my familiar. Now Mal's trapped in the closet. Go. What's going to do hey, inside it? Hey, I'm, Steve. I'm going to reach in my bandolier. Can, is that, do I still have access to the uh, the, the little area bullet? where the... No, where the, uh, where the uh, little jar's at. Oh, no. If I'm in the closet. Nope. Uh, when you're in the closet... Um, well, you're not... Well, I guess you would have tried this, but yes. You, in the closet, you have access to that. Because Arvos definitely said that he had no access to his, uh... He had no access to his pockets, yep. Huh. Well, that's mighty interesting. Because that's um, extra-dimensional space, technically, correct? Uh, yes, that is extra-dimensional space. If you huh. do that, I, I'm gonna follow you in to the closet. <laughs> I assumed you were coming into the closet as I was doing this. Now we're both trapped in the closet. Let's see what kind of fun yeah, stuff happens. You oh, were man, they're both the like, yeah, yeah, uh, seven idea. minutes in heaven. Yeah, uh, another uh, idea. Can, can you both give me... I'm gonna try hold and on, open hold on. This. I need you guys to do me a favor. I need you guys to give me a ship check. <laughs> a ship what? check tells me how viable the two shipped. of you are being shipped in this closet situation. No, just go oh, ahead. What are you, you going to do? Chat. Sorry. I'm going to pull open the like uh, in the closet and see if it works in here. Uh, you're you, you're going to try to make the call in here? Yeah. It looks like it tries to work, but there's no square in front of you to place the call. Is this wood? It is... Uh, no, it is stone on the inside Damn. of the closet. Can I make some sort of check to know how much... how? much of an area this silent spell would go outside the door like can i judge this at all or uh no like would i know like the silence you know the range of silent but there could be more castings of silent beyond this casting of silent well we heard ourselves when we were talking right outside this door right so it's safe to assume that the silence is for in here the silence is for in the outer area but you can hear yourselves in this room but if you step outside the door outside 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 the the door you can't hear anything out there Right, but when we were outside, we could hear each no, other, so people you could, could hear sound. You, when what, you were in you this area, other, right? you were able, to, you were talking to each other. You were not out here right. because you were not out in this area. Having when we were walking towards here, we were speaking to each other. No, in different parts of the building. So, oh, would we have noticed that it was silent at one point when we were walking through things? Um. I mean, that's an odd sensation yeah, with no sound all of a sudden. You know what thinking I mean? Thinking back, you you do remember like it's quite a it's quite a big area of silence. Like the the, the stairwell going down seemed to be very silent, or going up seemed to be very silent. Can I recall how long? Like that the entire was? the entire length of the stairway. Can I recall how long it was? Like how many uh, stairs? Or... It was about fifty feet. <laughs> 50 feet. Yes. I'm going to put my uh, note in my extra dimensional space before I leave the closet. Yep. Um, I, I'm trying one more thing. Can I try and take the wizard's body into the closet? Yeah. Does anything change when I bring a body in? Nope. Good try. I, like, I, I feel one last time I'm literally like going take 20 to inch by inch touch every wall in yeah, the closet. Yeah, that's fine. You will not find anything. Hey, hey, Steve. Uh, does he have anything, um, let's say, spherical in his uh, room? Like uh, a crystal ball or anything really, like that? No. Damn. Nothing All that right, would no. roll downstairs? No. Ne- next plan, I'm trying to find what opens the chest. Is there any key slots in it? Um, if you look around, you will not find a key. Can I try forcing it open? Uh, it is very strongly held. Is there um, any way to fasten something to something? Where are you putting this wizard's? Are you leaving the wizard's body in the closet? By the way, no, I I, I bring it back out. Of it. Okay, I've got an idea. Um, where do you where do you set I, it down? Okay. Uh, just back like out, sort of outside of the the fake wall. Okay. I'm gonna um, take the what, bed sheets real quick. Okay, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I just have an action whenever. Yeah, can. go ahead, Arius. Or Arvis. Sorry. <laughs> I wish it was Arius. Um, I'll let my familiar slink down from my sleeve and 
I can communicate with me up to a mile, so I'll send it forth and try to. Okay. Uh, you do not have a familiar it's... anymore. <laughs> you do not have a familiar anymore. It just like disintegrates when it walks nope. through the. It, it does not know who you are. It doesn't know anything about you. You do not have a familiar. Okay. I'm going to try to find the most spherical or rectangular. I'm going to wrap something in the uh, in the bed sheet to give it some weight. You can uh, obviously get a new familiar, but... Okay, so... Uh, so if I saw this familiar thing, I'm going to chop up the rhino and toss its body parts outside <laughs> the door. Okay. I needed to forget I ever existed. Yep. The rhino will, Thank like, God. wake back up, and it will... <clears throat> Stand in the middle of the room, confused. All right. Oh, Hell yeah, I can stop care of stopping. That, that is a very innovative way to do that. That's a great <laughs> idea. And now because it and dies to a rhino. <laughs> I'm going to try to wrap something in the bed sheets and try to chuck it down and like put a little note inside of it and try to chuck it down the stairs. Yep. Hopefully it'll roll down to the bottom of the stairs. Yep. Sure. Sorry, just small question. So my empathetic, like this spell ends my link to this creature? Just because it doesn't remember me, I should So I guess, able... yeah, you would have the link to it, but it's very confused now, standing outside of the area. And so yeah, looking... I'll just try to talk to it and say, listen, you it's a spell. Now it's just you... freaking the fuck out. Well, I'll just keep trying to talk to it up to a mile. So okay. <laughs> I'll just say, listen. It's, 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 it's like out. it'll go running off. What, what kind of creature right. is it? It's a scorpion. Oh. I'll just say details about it. I don't, know, I don't know how far the memories rela- rela- uh, elapse. I don't know if it's entire life. The thing is, you don't know how this spell works. Like, this is this is where right. we're stuck. Right, so I'm just going to say memories of, like, my earliest memories with it to see if it rings any bells with it. I'll just be saying random things like this. Things things that you're saying, like, are it, it can't... You have just Empathic Link right now, right? You yeah, don't, you uh, don't no, have the we next can level. speak, or speak can with speak? Master Level 5. It can speak back okay. to me. We can basically talk. Okay. So, so it it's very confused, and it says, like, I I don't... I What? So, yeah, I'm just going to relay the earliest memory I have with it. So I would say, do you remember this? Like, your name is this. How do I... How would I know this? We are linked. Uh, I'm a wizard. weird how... I don't know you. You talk to me. I feel like... This, what? You are impacted by a memory spell. It's it's very complicated, but memory you need to help spell. me. Yes, a spell that makes you forget who I am. But how would I know these things about you if I if not for us sharing this link? The it fact starts that we're to speaking. move back to you, and as it moves back to you, it crosses through the doorway, um, and it like will then walk up to you and be like, "I'm sorry, I forgot." <laughs> and jump up on your shoulder. Mm. Do we think this is something that's dispellable? Like, okay, here's my theory, right? What if someone wrote something out? We give it to one of us. We walk out. We're gonna forget, but we'll probably look at the paper we're literally holding that says, like, hey, go here. I mean, that's legit what Cassius has been doing this entire time. Yeah, I mean, but I'm saying, like, why don't, like... Like, but you think Arachlis can just, like, dispel that? So, like, you get your memory back later? If you want to take the chance on it, go for it. All right, guys. So, how about we sleep here for eight hours? (gasps) So, either somebody comes in to help us, or we get our spells back and potentially dispel this. Okay, is that what you want to do? We, Um, we We can go through the books and all that sort of stuff while... We is the, rest. Is the enchantment spell cast on the art, the like doorway itself? It's on the doorway itself. So if, like, say we were to go around the doorway, if you that would break possible. through the building, I, I will promise you, you cannot break through the walls here. You Good. will destroy your in weapons trouble. in the process. Even, even, Mister, I've got force blades. Will destroy his. You weapon destroy in the a rat or destroy this evil guy's weapons? No. I wasn't going to use my weapons on it. The, just, the uh, walls quickly, are all magic, are all heavily magically reinforced. There is a lot of magic that went into making a place where somebody is supposed to be like the key investigator for all cases in, in like the final 
uh, adjudicator in a lot of situations. This place is, this place is like the president's secret bunker, underground bunker levels of secure. I, I'm just gonna keep chucking books down the staircase as long. As I have here. like one last idea. Um, can I check? If the detect magic on the door and the detect magic on the closet magic, does it seem to have a matching signature? No. The detect magic in the closet has a conjuration effect. The detect magic on the door is an abjurative effect. Okay. It's like a like, series here... of abjurative effects. Hey, Cassius. Mm. Can you go in the closet and try to open your little tree jar and talk to those people? I don't know if that's how that works, but... Didn't they say, like, you could open it and talk to it and they would, like, hear you and help us if we needed help? Isn't that what they said? Mm, I, I thought no. they just asked me to take care of it, but... They said at I one mean, point if... it would grow. Yeah. No, that was I, oh. seeds. But this is, like, they gave him, like, a little... Mm -hmm. like I, I have that in my bandolier because it's uh, extra-dimensional space and I don't want anything to happen to it. So when we were in the uh, pink area, I, or the purple area... I made sure it was in there so it wouldn't be affected by the air. And I, I forgot to mention that when we uh, when we have our meal breaks, I've been periodically like breathing into it as they, as they recommended. Okay, maybe I'm remembering wrong, but I swear to God, I thought I remembered something where you could literally talk to it and like that dryad person could potentially hear you and help you. Like I thought she said that she would try to like help or something like it. I mean, I think she was meaning it like if we were in the purple area and got fucked, but... I no, it's literally just a baby tree. If, in case the other tree dies, am I totally misremembering this? Steve? I don't remember any I'm, of that. I'm at this point operating on the Koibu plan, where if like I'm not going to give assistive information, uh, I'm there's been a lot of lack of note taking about stuff, and so I'm I'm perfectly content to have people forget stuff. Well, I mean, I remember it. So if you want to go pop in there and try to talk to the tree and see if anything happens, I feel like I remember something, but maybe I'm not sure. sure. I will do that, but uh, I also do have one question. How far away is the stairs from the doorway we're at? Uh, like 20 feet. Okay. Because I'm gonna go, I'll go in there and I'll try her plan because I don't okay. really remember that, but if it does work, I'll do it as far away from the portal as possible. Okay. Uh, you can do that. Um, something about this feels off. Like, you say the words in there, but it feels like... It's hard to, it's hard to explain, um, but nothing happens. Ultimately, nothing happens. Uh, I right. hope that's not what I think it is. No, it's I'm gonna it's I'm gonna it's take not something the something to be panicked about. It's okay. I, How I'm big is the one, I'm trying one last fucking crazy thing. I'm I'm literally gonna like when I when he you sort of make that remark that this things sound different. I'm like gonna walk through it, and as I walk through it, I'm going to say um I'm gonna say the name of my friend's forge. Okay, um, as you do that. The portal opens, and you can see you can see an image into a different closet. I keep walking. Okay, you walk into a clo a different closet. I, I hear him say these words. Yes. In the closet, I'm gonna peek my head back in. Uh, you are looking into a different closet. The door is shut. I, uh, I, I listen. Uh, you can hear the sound of something hammering outside. I'm going to remember I, that name. I push open the closet. <laughs> uh, there is your friend standing there, hammering into things, and he looks over at you, and his eyes for a moment glow, grow excited, <laughs> and then his eyes grow incredibly fearful. Hey, guys, I figured it out. <laughs> my well, face figured it out. Up. I don't. Oh my. Okay. Uh, don't panic, friend. It's me. I promise. <laughs> is is he dead? Um, is he dead? I think so. Yes.
He stands there silently, breathing very heavy, and he sets down the hammer, and he walks up to you. And he opens his arms, and he hugs you very tightly. I hug him back. I'm like, it's good to see you, friend. It's been a long time since I've seen a friendly face. It has been a very long time. Perhaps I should catch you up on that. How did you kill him? I guess technically he mostly killed himself when he tried to run. He, he tried to trap us and frame us. Have you heard about what was going on? He's been twisting the arms of a lot of people. He, uh, he seems to have an obsession with one of my traveling companions. One of my the people that I've been traveling with since I was kidnapped. It's probably why he stopped being as interested in me. What has he been having you do? He likes the feeling of being in a strong body, in a body that makes him feel young and powerful. I guess something that in a lot of ways he hasn't felt. Yours? Yes. It's um, several years ago when it stopped. But one day it just quit happening. He stopped showing up. He stopped taking me on these trysts. I, uh, I have some friends with me. Is it okay if they come in? Sure. As long as you trust them. He well, technically can't see you because when you poke your head in, you're only visible from the other side of, the, of that closet. Well, it's funny you mentioned that because I'm going to let everybody else know that uh, Mal figured out the spell to get out of here. So I'm going to let them know and I'm going to have them come over and I'm going to go in there and cast the spell that he cast. You didn't, okay, you like didn't repeat really the words that he said repeated while he was in the, there. The, you can already see through the door as it is. Oh, I thought it closed. I'm sorry. No, you can you can see the portal is open as the portal is. Okay, I'm just gonna call everybody else over here and let them know. Okay. And make sure somebody does something with this body because I don't yeah. know if I want this thing here by itself. So what is happening as people come out? I'm just gonna stick with the lawyer and make sure he comes through and isn't too yep. freaked out. He will go with everybody. I'll make sure that everybody gets through before I get through. And uh, is anybody doing anything with the body? Um, I mean, I'm not leaving it there, so I'll yeah. take it. Okay, so we definitely he's got need the body. body what Avoid about, what touching about the rest that of staff, stuff? if you can. I'm taking the stuff, I'm taking the law books, and I'm like... I'm gonna basically say to this lawyer, like, as soon as we get through the portal, I'm gonna lay out all these law books. I'm gonna, like, you figure out how you're gonna win this fucking case. They're not those kinds of law books. They're, They're spells about, like, they are magic. spells about law magic. Law oh, magic okay. is a very specific kind of magic. Like blue magic. Yes. But different. Like, but different. A little bit. I'll be like, Erebos, you're from here. Do you know anything about this stuff? Me and my friend are not exactly the lawyer types. Not really. This this is something that that was kind of like a specialized field that was created uh like a couple hundred years ago, um to deal with stuff to deal with issues where like legality couldn't simply be covered by the spells that currently exist. No, I don't know anything about this. All right, so can can we we can push the chest into the forge, right? You said it is able. Yeah, to you can you can hook. push the chest into yeah. the forge. Okay, yeah, because we needed to. Open and you're, that you're also. taking you're taking the books as well, or? Yeah, I would, Mal would definitely uh, like the books. Uh, so you're gonna try to go back. Um, yeah, like oh, like go back through the portal after yes. I've gone through it. So is can I not see the portal still open? You cannot see the portal still open. Oh, I see. Um, so I would need to know the name of that location, kind of thing. No, there's there's no portal. There's no portal in the closet. Like oh, things are coming okay. out of things walk out and then they stand in the closet. 
But they're uh, not visible in the closet until they're all the way through. And then they can step out. Uh, yeah, then it, I, if I can't go back, then yeah, I guess I don't. It, didn't we say we were taking the books, though? So so who's grabbing? I need to know what things people are grabbing. So Zeke, you're grabbing the... I was grabbing pushing the, the chest through and, and his body. And the, okay, so you're through. If what somebody said something about the books, system. if somebody said something about the books, I'd be just chucking the books through. Okay, so you throw all the books through. Um, and then, I'll, and then, well, can I hear anything on the other side still, or no, no, you cannot. Okay, you just see um, a bigger then, closet on the other side with stuff in it. Lots of books now. Okay. Um, yeah, but like once I'm done doing all that, uh, I'll do a quick once over and make sure we didn't forget anything. And then go through myself. Okay. Are you, you are gonna take a quick rest in that bed? <laughs> a quick eight-hour rest? No, I'm not sleeping in that bed. I forget what uh, actually that bed has on it. If that's the same bed, but I remember it not being good. I think it's a sleep-enhancing bed, but yeah. I wouldn't take the chance. Uh, okay. Once you guys are out, that is a sleep-enhancing bed. That is not the that is not the super forced sexy time bed. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. That's what the other guy has. The guy that had that book that uh, had Sphinx's uh, thumbprint in it with all of his blue magics. <laughs> no, that was a different person with the blue magic. Yeah, yeah I, was the, uh, I was talking about the. I was talking about the the way back. Uh, yeah, I, I remember what you church. were talking about. Yep. Yeah. All right. So all of you are through. And well, I, I don't want to interrupt. I just I wanted to ask the lawyer or do a check. Is this going to look bad if we ransack the place and they're not here? In, a, in terms of like explaining this whole thing? Like, is it better if we stay here and wait for someone? Um, I want to know that before I left. And if I know that, I don't, I'm going to tell people to stop moving everything. But this is- Stop I don't, throwing books through. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would know this or not. The lawyer, the lawyer advises here very strangely because you guys broke that door open. Mm -hmm. So, You've left this in a very weird state because if the door were closed, they, somebody would have to, like, open the doors and come through and then open the other doors and come through. The idea is that, like, he he tries to explain it as best as he thinks he understands it, but the guards brought you in. The guards walked through the door into this middle room, and then they walked out, which means the guards, if, like, what, you're fami what happened to your familiar happened... The guards have forgotten who you are. So the guards don't know who you are. Um, they don't remember bringing you up here. They don't remember any of that. So all that's left in question is the legality of you guys killing those other people. Those other two people. Um, if they discover the Grand Inquisitor's dead, no one's going to remember who was last up here. The Grand Inquisitor has kind of set his own trap. He thought so much he overthought his own problem. He, because he thought he was sealing himself in a place where he could not die, and a place where people would never remember who he was, he can never, no one can ever really try anyone for this murder because no one knows who murdered him. No one can know who murdered him. He didn't summon you guys, he didn't summon you guys legally, You're, you know that, because like, it was guards that just brought you up here. No questions were asked. They didn't take down any paperwork. Nothing was written in record anywhere. They were just bringing you here. And as soon as they walked out, you didn't exist. Oh, okay, so what does the lawyer advise to the, just the lawyer, the lawyer is like, it doesn't matter. Like, what are they gonna do? They don't know what's here. They don't know like anything about him. The lawyer advises deny everything. Yep. Just keep your mouth shut and say you um, have no fucking idea. We'll deal with the murder case as it happens. In the meantime, oh. let's let's just get the fuck out of here. And he like looks very nervous about everything he's saying, but he is so far gone from like what should happen here. Um, you guys have violated a number of laws, but also this guy has violated a number of laws. Um, sort of, but not really. Like, he's in an authoritative position, so what laws he has control over versus doesn't is a little hard to figure out. Like, a lot of this is very murky, but at the end of the day, nobody probably remembers this, so let's just get the fuck out of here. 
Except for the lawyer. Also, I'm an accessory, so... <laughs> as I didn't advise you not to do this. Perhaps it's safer if you walk through that door, then. He sprints to the door. Farewell, friend. And Farewell. I'll walk through the portal. Yep. Um, Zeke, what, what's Zeke doing with this body, though? I took it through the portal. Okay. Okay. I That's took the I body in the chest. Um, you guys are all going through the portal, then? I'll make sure everybody gets through safe. Okay. Um, I'm double checking that someone had grabbed his spell book. If they did, that's what I'm pretty much interested there's in. There's lots yeah, of, there's, but... a, there's obviously a few spell books. So. Oh, well, I'll try to grab as much as I can then. Yeah, all yeah. the books got thrown through though. So they're all through. Oh, okay. <laughs> Be careful I didn't with know those what, I didn't know what books he wanted. So I just started throwing as many of them as I could find. Well, Ma Mal had also already given you the main spell book. Yeah, but I didn't have a bag for it, so I don't know if, where it is or if I'm able to carry everything you want. But, yeah. Well, once you get into the port, uh, the closet, you can presumably. Yeah, I dispelled the uh, this name spell book for you. Uh, you're okay, welcome. so <laughs> all the books are in the closet as people come out. Um, what's going to happen with these books? Um, if no one's directing otherwise, I'll start putting the spell books in my bag. Okay, and... so you you go in to grab a book and as you come out you're back up you're back in the uh in the wizard in the inquisitor's bedroom <laughs> just where i wanted to be those fools <laughs> no, i am the inquisitor now <laughs> um, uh, and also so wait, the as portal I, has reset as in it's the blue uh, purple it's the, it's the purple haze again interesting um was I mean I, they explained how it worked. If I say Arachlis's tower, does it go there? No, oh, that's good. He absolutely Arachlis does not have a it. secret portal to this guy's. <laughs> uh, well, I was wondering if it could just go anywhere, but clearly it has to be like a two-way thing. Yep. But your um, parents' uh, house, on the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if that would come to me, but that'd be interesting to know. I mean, I don't know how much longer we want to play for, but um. Hey, look, I don't know if I, I could mean, do an in check to like see what I could think of to say. I mean, you could think you... of towns. You could think of like... yeah. I'd want to try Kazarum. Okay, there's, there's not one to Kazarum. Oh, that's um, interesting. Uh, I would just start listing off like towns Arvis knows of just okay. to see where this guy is. It will to. ping on. Hold on. I definitely would want to try Stevelo. See if this guy was involved there. Uh, there is one to Stevelo. So it tells him the number of ones that are connected to that town, then? No. Uh, there's well, it's trial and there's error, only I guess one wondering. in each town. Uh, there's oh, okay. one in Stevelo, and there's one in Lukil of the towns that you'll know off the top of your head. Okay, uh, no, I and will... there's one in Kaminster. And you each said of them Lukil. goes into closets. Sorry, you said Lukil, Stevelo, and. Lukil, Stevelo, Kaminster. and Kaminster. The minister. Yep. Um, I'm not able to access my bag in this room, am I? In the room, in the room, you're not. In the closet, you are. Okay. If I'm able to note this down in my notebook, I will. Yep. Um, and then finally, uh, so I have the spell book still in my hand, or no? Yes. So I'll try going back to the forge with the spell book in my hand. Am I? Does it not work, or do I just walk yeah, in a no, circle or something? If, if you activate the door, if you activate the portal again and say, like, that forge Mal is at, mm -hmm. uh, it will light up, you can step through, and it will put you out at that forge. That's interesting. <laughs> how, how, how specific does he end up... Can he specify, like, that forge that Mal is at, literally? Yes. And that works? If, if that is, like, specifically tuned to a thought in it, it's basically using what's in his mind to determine okay. that location. Um... Yeah, I wonder. But it closes when you go in and then back to the room. Right. You just come back through that portal? I'm more powerful than you can possibly imagine. No portals can stop me. Um, you and your massive web. I'm going to try and put the book down and then pick it back up again. Do I teleport back in the tower? No. 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 Like a the one book has thing. nothing to do with it. It's basically sounds to me like it's a it's a portal that basically it's um 
it creates like a two way effect where you go through it and it stays open. But then when you come back, which is what you did when you reached for the book, it takes you back and then closes again. I misunderstood. I thought it was in the in the forge casually with everyone. I'm just reaching yeah, for you, the book. You, walk, you walked over. You went to get the book, and you reaching into there triggers the door, pulling you back out. So as you pull oh. the door back out, you're moving your body back across the plane of the portal, and the portal is going to pull you the rest of the way back into the other room. It's okay. the strong yeah, body moving body across the threshold the is going to pull you back. Yeah, I misunderstood. I thought the books were like in the forge and I was like no, out far no. outside the portal or nope. whatever. You can't be far outside the portal. You'd just be like standing outside of the door. So it, what remains to be understood to us would just be that if it so the portal stays open so long as no one goes near it. Like, I don't know if it, if we waited amount, some amount of time, it closes permanently. Or it, if it I'll stays assume you open. guys can spend some time playing around with the portal and I'll give you some of the details of the portal. So okay. if you enter in, if you're, if you go through the portal, the door stays open to wherever you went through. It is when you go back out, back into the closet and then back out of the closet in any, in any manner. So like reaching an arm through, reaching your body through, um, it will close the door on the other side. It's it's basically looking for oh. some sort of like living component that goes back into the closet and then walks back out. So only one of the doors can be open at a time. Uh, no. The or yes, only one one door to one place can be open at any given time. So if you so if the door to the in the forge is open and then you go in there and close the do forge door, the you don't other have door to close the open. forge door. You're just oh, okay. walking through. You walk into the closet, right? And when you walk into the closet, you walk into a different closet. But when you walk out of the closet there, as long as it it's your first the... time walking out of the no, as long as it's your first time walking okay. out of the closet, it has no additional effect on you. If you go back into the closet and then you turn around and you walk back out of the closet, or you pull yourself back out of the closet, or in some way you put yourself part of the way into the closet and then come back out of the closet, the portal brings you back to the other location. It okay. is like a teleportation circle effect except that it automatically seals it, it has like triggers walking into the closet is the trigger that sends you to somewhere and walking out of the closet any subsequent time past the first is what triggers you returning to where you came from but you have to have come from that place in order to return to that place is this forge in Krizizen? Are we? This forge is in Krizizen. Yes, yes. This was one of the uh, Malmed mentioned it while we were traveling too. That he was looking forward to seeing some old friends. Um, at some point, probably won't get into it this session, but no, this is uh, we will not. one of the people that uh, from Mal's backstory. All right, so we're in a forge. Let's get this chest open. Okay, this is where we will break for tonight. All right. Uh, you guys can think on how to deal with this portal problem, because if this portal is permanently open and somebody does yeah. do investigating, they're obviously going to come here and they're going to convict your friend and the rest of you. Um, but this is a problem for another session. Let me dish out We should have XP. kept the uh, lawyer with us and sent him back through and then let him run through up the other door. Well, nobody figured out how to go back, so until after... The lawyer had been dismissed. Good old hindsight. Besides, that lawyer had to, that lawyer, like, I don't that, no. anyway. <laughs> no, I can't think. Uh, let me get the XP here. Uh, 200 XP for recap <laughs> is what I'm giving you, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> um, what happens when the DM levels up? Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. Steve, Steve's gonna start multi class. He's already level twenty GM, so now he's multi classing into like uh, plagiarism and stuff like that. That's that's that. That's what happens as you level as a GM. You just start like deep digging deeper and deeper into uh, well, like really good fantasy lore. GM, but... As long as he doesn't become like a PM, then I think we're good. Oh, I don't want to be a prime minister. Oops. Oops. 
No, not, I don't. I'm not. That divide by zero is not supposed to be there. Oh, you piece of shit. Uh, everybody gain three thousand three hundred and sixty-seven XP. It's such a random number, and it puts me exactly at forty-two thousand seven hundred. It's just weird how it like lined up to a nice number. <laughs> yeah, it did the same for me. Oh, it should oh. do the same for everyone, basically. <laughs> I assumed as much, yeah. No way you guys all got brought to a the same floor. All right. So. 3,300. Very good job tonight, everyone. I'm going to wrap up the stream. The night stream. Thanks for watching. <laughs>